Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use ChatGPT with Visual Studio Code. In the process, we will learn and use ChatGPT with VS Code. During this tutorial, we will specifically look at some tasks. We will install ChatGPT extension in Visual Studio Code. There are many extensions for ChatGPT within Visual Studio Code. We will create or log into ChatGPT account. We will link and use ChatGPT from Visual Studio Code. We will use the ChatGPT extension by EasyCode Company. There are many ChatGPT extensions that we can use in Visual Studio Code. However, we will specifically be looking at the ChatGPT extension which is being developed by the EasyCode Company. Now, with that said, let's open Visual Studio Code. Now, I have Visual Studio Code open. But before we do anything, let me quickly say here, many ChatGPT plugins are available in Visual Studio Code. Some of them are active with good reviews and a high number of usage. However, there are some that are deprecated. In other words, they are no longer supported or they are not maintained regularly. We will mainly be looking at the plugin ChatGPT by EasyCode. To install the ChatGPT plugin, you would normally search for it and install it the way you would install any other plugin from Visual Studio Code. So click on this icon here for extensions and now search for chat gpt chat gpt hit enter here we have several chat gpt extensions there are so many plugins for chat gpt in visual studio code we will specifically be looking at the chat gpt easy code which is this one here the reason for that is it has try without account option it has the option sign up it has the option to log in and it also allows you to select your role before you sign up many of these plugins have their advantages and disadvantages some plugins may ask you to enter your session token if you want to use it some may ask you to select your api some may ask you to log into ChatGPT Plus account before you can use it. But in the case of the ChatGPT by EasyCode, we can use it without even signing into the ChatGPT platform. Now to install the ChatGPT EasyCode, click on it. And this page will open. As at the time of recording this video, it says it has been installed more than 200,000 times. That is 211,875. And it has a four star rating as at the time of doing this video. Here you can read more about it. I am not going to read all this for now. So the next thing now is for us to install it. Click on install. Great, the installation is done. It says here, this extension is enabled globally. Now that we have installed it, here we have an icon for the ChatGPT Easy Code. This is the icon that we can use to work with the ChatGPT Easy Code plugin that we have just installed. I'm going to close this one. Now we'll click on this icon great now this window will open i'll close this one here here it says sign up settings features discord upgrade that is if you are to upgrade to maybe chat gpt plus you can upgrade here and here it says ask gpt ask code base if you are going to use code base you can click on this uh, tick box here chat features there are so many features that it has here 
and you can go through them for example ask gpt chat gpt in your ide good for understanding concepts that are general not related to your code base so there are so many other features that you can read about it here as we are going to use it without signing in you can click on new chat here or click on this one to add a tab to it or just enter your chat gpt question here if i click on sign up it shows me this login panel with some fields to enter your email password confirm password select your role developer data scientist product student or whatever role you think is suitable for you then you click sign up if you want to log in you click on login and you enter your details here your email your password and login if you forget your password click on forgot password enter your email and get your password reset link in this case now we are going to use the try without account option i'll click on it and it brings me back to this page that we were on before now i am going to use chat gpt to search for an sml code i'm going to use chat gpt now to search for a piece of sml code i'll just say here sml code click on this one here or hit enter great it is generating sml code for me now yes great so it has generated a piece of sml code for me which is for a bookstore and here at the bottom it explains what this code is about this sml code represents a bookstore with two books everyday italian by giada de laurentis and harry potter by jk rollins the bookstore has a category attribute for each book indicating whether it is a cookbook or a children's book the bookstore also has a title author year and price for each book so this is the sml piece of code if you want to copy it click on copy and it says you're not copied to clipboard if i want to create a file for that i will click here now i will click on this plus and type in my bookstore dot sml hit enter now paste the code control plus v exactly so this is the code that chat gpt generated for me the sml code i will leave that here for now then to use it again I'll go back to this click on this chat gpt easy code option now i am going to ask chat gpt another question i want to open a new tab so to do that i will click on this one here this plus icon click on it and now i have another tab in which i can ask my question this time i'm going to ask chat gpt how to prepare for a house party how to prepare for house party search great it's printing it out it's telling me and if you want to stop generating the code you can click on it but i don't want to stop it i want it to print everything out for me great now it is done how to prepare for house party that was my question here are some tips to help you prepare for a house party plan ahead before the party make a list of all the food drinks and decorations you will need this will help you stay organized and make sure everything is in place before the event then choose a theme create a menu plan the decorations and a lot more information from that query if you want to follow it up with uh, another question it says you ask a follow-up then i can type it here or i can scroll up and type it up here as well 
I can delete this one and type up another question. So this is the response to my search, how to prepare for house party. Now I am going to ask another question. I will say here, add another menu, another tab. Now I have tab three, which is another one for me to ask my question. I will ask now C++ code for a function. C++ code for a function, search. Great, it is spreading it out for me. Great, now it is done. It says here, yeah, sure, here is an example C++ function that takes two integers as input and returns their sum. The name of the function is add. So it's of data type int. Here it says int add. And it takes two parameters int a, int b. And returns a plus b. Here is an explanation for the function. It says this function is called add and takes two integer parameters a and b. The function simply returns the sum of the two input integers by the return keyword. You can call this function from your main program like this. And it shows me now how to implement it in my program, which is great. This program calls the add function with the input values of 5 and 10 and then prints out the result. The output would be the sum of 5 and 10 is 15. So, if you want to copy the code, you can click on copy code like we did before. Now, I'm going to copy it. Copy. And it says here now copy it to clipboard. Okay, this time I'm going to create a new file. And I will give it the name. Adding numbers. Adding numbers dot cpp. Okay, now I will paste the code that I copied to clipboard before. And this is my function int add int a int b. Now it is saved. So this is how you use chat GPT to generate code in Visual Studio Code. Now that we have this one in place, I can run a test case on this function. To do that, select it and right click on it. By right clicking on it, I have several options here now. Run code, change all occurrences, refactor, cut, copy and paste, chat GPT asking why code isn't working. Chat GPT asks to explain code and so on. And here it says, ask GPT, ask GPT what does this do? Ask GPT refactor code, ask GPT write unit test, ask GPT write code, and so on. I am going to write a unit test for that piece of code now. Click on this. And great, here is writing a unit test code for me now for this function. It is done. And here it says, sure, here are some unit tests for the add function. It has a header file here. It has added a header file here now for assert and this is the test case void test add and this is the code we can use to run it. Uh, it explains it in here. It says here yeah, these tests cover a range of input values and ensure that the function returns the expected output. I can copy it or copy the code. Now I'm going to paste it here. So this function now, I will cut this one. I'll paste it in the head section of the code. Now it looks like this. So this is my code now. This part of it is for the function. I can leave a comment here. The add function. This one 
e test e test case function so then the main so for us to test this now to see that it's working i can click here run code great everything run successfully it shows you an exited with code zero which means there is no error in this code this test case is passed successfully if i want to see now whether any test case is failing i can do that here for example assert add two plus three is equals five we know two plus three is five but i'm going to change it to a wrong result change it to nine now let's run our test case again great yes as expected this test case is failing it says here assertion add two plus three equals nine failed so we know that two plus three is five and not nine that is why it is failing so here assert add two plus three equals nine is failing because two plus three is actually five so if i change that back to five and run it again great all our test cases passed again because everything now is working correctly so for our chat gpt easy code settings if you are to add an api to it you can click here on settings and this page will open then scroll down here it says easy code on ai api key if you want to add your api key you can add it to it here in our case we are not adding any api key because we just tested it with the test without account option of chat gpt easy code we'll close this now we close this so in this tutorial we have looked at how to add chat gpt extensions to visual studio code and we have used chat gpt to generate code in visual studio code thank you for watching i hope you learned something from this video see you again in my next video bye for now